In this week, we explored the software conceptual design process. We saw that it involves the creation of a design description, which is represented graphically or numerically or textually. We explored a technique for software conceptual design called the function behavior structure framework. And we have used the tool called Think and Link in order to help us create these software conceptual designs. Keep exploring the tool Think and Link for creating software conceptual design and many techniques using the function structure behavior framework.